Hi, welcome to Photoshop Intermediate Training, brought to you by 7Tutors.com. So in this lesson, we'll be looking at how to get rid of pimples and spots on the face in order to get a smooth skin effect. And the tools we'll be using are the selection tool and the healing brush tool. Okay, so let's get started. All right, so to begin, we're going to import an image into our active image area. So you can use whatever image you like. Um, we do not need to create a new document immediately. We import our image into appear as a new document. So I'm just going to use the mini bridge and let's see, I'll make our selection. I'll use, okay. I'll use this one, All right? There we go. New document. Now, before I begin, like I said before, I always like to duplicate the background layer so that if I need to go back, or you know look at the original image to be easier for me so you can just call this anything you like i just call this main work image uh, main work image. Ah. <laughs> okay okay so now we're going to zoom in to the face here because this is where we're going to be working now we can use the zoom tool or you can just hold out the control key or the command key on your keyboard and then the spacebar key and then you just click and drag click and you can see you can zoom real close or you can just you know stay at the safe distance don't worry she won't bite and then if you let go of the co the command key or the control key you can see that the cursor has changed to a hand and with this you can just drag until you have a proper view of your image let's just take this back a bit Alright, so this looks good. Now what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be making use of the healing brush tool. And we're going to make use of this in order to get rid of the pimples and spots on this beautiful face here. So we'll come here to our toolbar and then click on the healing brush tool. Now how it works is like, um, let's see, sort of like a copy and paste. You alt click or no portion of the image and then you just left click elsewhere and it copies that portion over to the next one smoothing out the image so we're just going to reduce our brush size let's make this 11 okay you can make yours larger if you like but 11 is okay so what i'm going to do is you will look for a portion of the image that is close to the um, part that you want to get rid of and it's smooth that way you don't have a kind of um, difference in the color. So I'm going to be taking from here to get rid of the spots around this area. Then I'll be taking from here to get rid of the spots around this area and then so on. So I'm just going to um, alt click and to do this, you hold down the alt key on the keyboard and then you left click and then you just left click. And if you notice, there was a spot here and it's gone. So I'll just undo that. You can see it's back and we'll do that again. So alt click, left click, and it's gone. So very quickly, we're just gonna get rid of all the spots. So you can zoom in, drag, you know, so that you can have a proper look at the image. Ah, wow. What a day. Mm -hmm. All right, so we don't need this to be too perfect. We go to this is a tutorial. So if you have enough time to, you know, alt click and left click and alt click and left click, alt click and left click, make sure you've gotten rid of all the spots. Now this might be really. <sighs> Mm, nice smile. Anyway. Hmm. 
but you're going to um, be careful so that you don't get a portion of the hair. You know, that might create something like a smudge on your image. So, just uh, Okay, so, oops, I'll do that. So I, I guess you get the picture. So you just get rid of all the spots. So you can zoom in, zoom out, increase or decrease your brush size just to get a perfect image. But because of time, we're not gonna really go into that in detail. So just get rid of all the spots. And if you feel comfortable with it, all right. So next, we're gonna make use of our quick selection tool. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the face discarding the lips the holes for the nostrils and the eyes so we're just going to make a selection around this portion and what and the reason why we're going to do this is so that we can apply a blur effect so let's do this uh let's see okay seven seems to be okay let's make this 10. so you can increase or decrease your brush size if you're comfortable with it okay Okay. Hmm. So we're just gonna um get rid of the portion that we do not need selected. So what you do is you hold down the Alt key, and then you just select the portion you do not need. Get rid of it. Okay. So you can use whatever selection tool you like, or whatever um selection tool you are comfortable with. So I'm comfortable with this one. So you can use any other one you like. Uh, let's get rid of this portion here. Okay, that looks good. Okay, let's get rid of the earring. That's very, very big. Okay, let's see, just careful here, oops. And do that. Okay. Just be careful as you're making your selection so that you don't get. Okay, this seems good. Yeah. This is really hard. Hope I get paid for this. <laughs> Just kidding. So we're gonna get rid of the eyes, the holes for the nostrils. And then our lovely smile. So we're going to reduce our brush size. Let's make this uh, not zero. Let's make this four. Let me just select. Hold down the Alt key and then select. Okay, so you just select around the eyes or deselect. Okay, that seems good. Let's select a little bit. Ah, so like I said before, please be very careful when you're making a selection. So you just want to get rid of the smile. Hmm, let's see, is there an easier way of doing this? Okay.
you know, I should really be saying something right now so that you don't feel, you know, alone. Uh, let's see, let me reduce it. Reduce to put down the alt key. Ta! Okay. You know, this is not easy at all. Yeah, oh well, close enough. All right, so this looks good enough. <laughs> okay. Um, now, with our selection made, let's make sure we have everything we need. Okay, now with our selection made, you're going to right click over the selection and then you select layer via copy. And when you do that, you can see our selection is gone. But, but if you come to our layer palette, you can see that a new layer has been created. Now you can just rename this and call this face mask. Okay. Now if you shut off um, the other layers, now you can see what it looks like. Wow, it looks like a mask. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to be applying a blur effect to this layer. Now with this layer selected, we'll come up here to the filter, come to blur, and then we'll make use of our Gaussian blur. Then we just, let's move this over to this side. So you can just um, adjust the radius. You know, don't take it too far. <laughs> let's just make this eight. And what we're trying to do is we're just trying to blur out the mask so that it um, looks like a very smooth skin on top of it. Uh, let's just make this 2.3, okay? And then if you're comfortable with that, or you can just take it up again, you can make this three. But we don't want it to look fake. If not, it begins to look like a plastic mask, as if she's wearing something plastic. So, um, 3.5, okay. Then you click okay. And there you have it. Then you can just reduce the opacity can just take the opacity down a bit so let's say 70 70 okay and easy as that you have a smooth face so you can look at this and say mama I've got a smooth face okay so you can apply this effect to any portion of the skin. You can you know, get rid of, oops, sorry. <clears throat> you can get rid of some, you know, spots around the arm, you know, as you're going on. Okay. So I guess that's it. So this has been Photoshop Intermediate Training brought to you by 7 Join us next time. Bye.